the traditional building style of Thailand was lightweight housing using bamboo, using other grasses, thatch for roofing, bamboo for structure. People didn't really use a cash-based economy. It was barter-based and they had what they needed. It's about 30 years ago that the cement industry started spreading itself throughout the world. People were drawn to cement housing, concrete, because it's more permanent and takes less maintenance and care than something like bamboo. People, farmers and villagers who had always had within their villages the resources to take care of themselves and their families were beginning to depend on the dollar. The reality of housing oneself and housing one's family meant that people were going into lifetimes of debt. Earthen building came in as a replacement for that. I was in Thailand and was on a little fishing boat and the man behind me I thought was pretty interesting. So we struck up a conversation and within 10 minutes he shared with me, he was the director of one of Southeast Asia's um, kind of most established activist training centers in near Bangkok. And I shared what I was doing and he invited me to come teach in Thailand. We didn't know what the results would be or who would be interested. We did a 10 day workshop and hundreds of people got turned on. We started helping villagers get out of debt and learning again how to be self-reliant. When they have the option to build with earth and create long-standing homes that would serve them well. So earth and housing now in Thailand is really an alternative to the environmentally and financially costly cement housing. We were looking for who here could help carry this work forward so that we can remove ourselves from this process or become more of just support for work that continues on, that Thai people themselves take it and run with it. We worked with networks that were teaching farmers how to get out of debt, become self-reliant, and they have now built natural building into their self-reliance curriculum. I think there are up to about 18 centers throughout different regions of Thailand. At each center, they teach something like 600 people per month. So 600 times 18 per month times 12 months. So they're teaching tens of thousands of people a year in Thailand. Um, and part of that curriculum is natural building. Yeah, and the story in Thailand is fantastic. It's really an incredible success story of natural building and a larger natural building movement and the way it can help transform on a deep social level. It's wonderful to be involved with this work and do a program or a project and watch the exponential potential of what can happen. The challenge we find is that what you need is a really deep connection with your local community. And coming from outside, that takes time. If you're going in as a bunch of people who are wanting to help or do good or something, um, it just becomes just a continuation of that same paradigm. But once you realize that if you're traveling to a place, you are getting as much if not more out of that experience than the people that you are working with, then it becomes more of a two-way street and there's a sense of partnership for a mutual goal. And that becomes a different thing and I think it increases the possibility of success because there's less of an imposition of an idea that's coming from outside, but more of a, hey, let's figure this out together. 
One thing to me that's beautiful about natural building um, is that you don't have to speak the same language as the people you're working with because the language is more about the body and the mud and the materials. Um, when I first worked in Thailand, I was working with people who, many of whom we didn't speak the same language, and uh, it was so much fun, and they were so into it, so energetic, and uh, I had never before worked with people who so smoothly just flowed together. Not much organization had to happen, not much talking and planning, it just happened, and I think working with people who are connected to a village-based culture where there's a sense of cooperation and doing things together regularly, that that just filtered through everything we did there. I learned so much more about the spirit of cooperation and having a really good time on a site 